warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Well, in the previous video, I have talked about this uh, idea, um, area of region that lies under the graph of a function, and there are four different cases uh, that you will see here, and these cases are going to be illustrated in this video. So let's talk about the first example here. You are required to find the area underneath the curve y is equal to x squared plus 2 from x equals to 1 to x equals to 2. So what we can do is we can actually sketch this uh, uh, curve here. So we know that this is going to be looking like this. So y is equal to x squared because the coefficient here is positive and um, plus 2. So therefore it is shifted to units up. Therefore, your graph is going to be looking like this. So this is x, so this is y, and the graph is looking like this. Okay, this is uh, 2, okay? So y is equal to x squared plus 2. Okay, so it is asked, uh, you are asked to evaluate this uh, function from x equals to 1 to x equals to 2. So you are talking about this region here. This may be x equals to 1 and this is x equals to 2 so you are looking to find the area under the curve okay from x equals to 1 to x equals to 2 okay so um, this is straightforward you can see that the curve here is uh, above the x-axis so we know that the area is going to be positive and we just find the integral of this which is x squared plus 2 with respect to dx the limit is from 1 until 2 and this is very easy to evaluate it becomes x cubed over 3 plus 2x with the limits 2 and 1 and you just substitute the limits accordingly over 3 plus um, this one is 4 and then minus 1 over 3 plus 2 and that becomes 8 over 3 plus 4 minus uh, 1 over 3 plus uh, 6 over 3 so this is 7 over 3 okay um, next uh, this one becomes 12 so uh, so 12 over 3 plus 8 over 3 is 20 over 3 minus 7 over 3 and the result is 13 over 3 so that's the area under the curve okay uh, next we are going to move on to the second question i'm going to erase all ink on this slide here okay so for this one we are going to find the area bounded by this curve y is equal to x squared minus 4 um, the x-axis and the lines x equals to negative 1 and x is equal to 2. So again, we know that if you sketch the graph, it will be looking like this. Um, and this is x. So this one, this function, this curve here can be written as y is equal to x minus 2 and x plus 2. So when you expand it, you will get back x squared minus 4. And we know that uh, at point negative 2 and point 2 um, you uh, the, the graph or the curve is going to touch the x-axis so these are the roots so we know that the roots are x equals to 2 and x equals to negative 2 and um, y is equal to x squared minus 4 we know at this point there will be the minimum value here so the, the graph will be looking like this okay, it's smiling it's looking like this more or less okay Okay, so now let's look at the boundaries given here. So the boundaries given is uh, x-axis. So this is the boundaries. So this is the boundaries. Uh, next, uh, the lines x equals to negative 1. So this could have been negative 1. So this is the line. Okay, so this is the line. Next are the lines of x equals to 2. So this is the line of x equals to 2. And therefore, the area that you are looking for is this area. So we are looking for this area. Um, and we need to uh, find the area under the curve here, um, or above the curve in this case. And because uh, the curve here is below x-axis, so this is the curve that is below the x-axis, the area is going to be negative unless you, you, you take the absolute value and turn it into a positive value. Okay? 
so uh, i have explained to you um, about how to turn it into a positive function if this is a negative function you can turn it into a positive function by integrating uh, by changing it or by adding a negative sign outside this function so negative sign outside this function uh, and you integrate that with respect to x and the limit is going to be from negative 1 until 2 so negative 1 until 2 and um, next this becomes negative 2 this is the limit here and we have x squared minus 4 dx and this becomes uh, x cubed over 3 minus 4x uh, the limit is from 2 and negative 1 so next we're going to evaluate the limit here 2 to the power of 3 is 8 over 3 so this is uh, 8 over 3 minus uh, 4 times 2 is 8 minus 8 minus um, negative 1 to the power of 3 will be negative 1 over 3 um, minus negative 1 times 4 is plus 4 okay so next this becomes um, 8 over 3 minus 24 over 3 minus so this one is negative 1 over 3 sorry negative 1 over 3 plus uh, 12 over 3 okay okay and right and this becomes okay i'm going to write down the answer here so this becomes negative outside so negative 24 uh, plus 8 that will be negative 16 over 3 and then uh, this one will become negative and this result here is going to be 11 over 3 so next this uh next we will get the, the result as um 16 plus 11 negative 16 plus negative 11 is negative 27 so negative 27 over 3 is negative 9 so this is negative 9 negative 9 negative outside so the answer is going to be equal to positive 9 okay all right that's all for now thank you very much thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video